Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tellingsley. Welcome back to Illusion Carnival, where we last left off. We have just finished riding on the paper flying carpet over the sea of button flowers from the button house. And we have made it to the end after beating whoever was up ahead of us, making all those pencils and stuff attack us. And we made it! We survived! Hopefully also helped that person. I don't know, like it was showing a heart symbol and then we did the origami thing and that all all that stuff was just saying stuff right there on the screen i can't read fast enough because the stuff is disappearing too quickly before i can fully read it so i'm just gonna have to speed read and look with my eyes and probably not worry too much about reading with my mouth so let's continue forward in this area and let's figure out if we can maybe find out if this was teddy that we had an interaction with or not so far, we're just following a big pathway that's made out of button flowers. Not a very straight path. Oh, what was that? What happened to the camera? It did a backflip again. That's like the second time the, the game did a backflip with the camera. Whoa. Is that an eye? What the, what's with the backflipping? It's quite fresh to see such a clear sky within Confetti. The button house suddenly became a warm and sweet place. I can barely get used to it. Just this spinning button flower. It looks like a giant eye. Wouldn't it be a symbol of this whole park area? I think that's what it is. Ooh. Paper! There's something on the paper. The, the sky is surrounded by button flowers. Why does it mention the button flowers around the sky? Actually, I'm wondering why these button flowers only communicated with us through paper notes. We've come across so many of them in the park, but they all spit out paper notes only. Is it because they can't talk? and have to draw or write messages on paper in order to communicate with us? Oh, I think that was it acknowledging it. That must be a yes. That's odd. Every toy we've met could talk, even the Wheel of Fortune. Why are button flowers the only ones that can't talk? Well, button flowers, button flowers. There seems to be something special with them. Uh stamens are all buttons yeah they all grow on colorful pencils oh right coloring pencils can write and draw but they can't speak and the button flowers grow on the tips of the coloring pencils I might know why that note mentioned the button flowers surrounding the sky big button flower is the air balloon on the left prepared for us Seems to be a yes. Oh, maybe I made a correct guess then. Bun Bun, let's take the air balloon and look around in the sky. Okie dokie. Oh, can I... Oh. oh. Okay, I'm becoming a paper boat on your head. Although, in theory, a paper boat that sits on your head, that's more of a paper hat. Eh. I was thinking that maybe it wishes to say something, but it can't. It can't utter a single word. So they can only be written down. Those unspoken wishes condensing at the tips of the pencils ended up blooming into such beautiful flowers. All these button flowers blanketing the sky. Oh, thank you! Hey! Are the words you wish to say you're welcome there, button flowers. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought I was controlling it. Why am I doing that now? Oh, okay, nope. Still cinematic. <laughs> I like that. They drew her sassy and they drew <laughs> our character with big arms. Yeah, look at these paper guns. We are strong. <laughs> Wow, this drawing. Is it for us? How can Bun Bun, oh, Bun Bun be this muscular? Wait, and I don't even have hair. 
And why do I have that funny face? You know what? Yeah, I like the way. Ooh, I like the. Uh, oh, do I. I should come for Demetria, yeah. I, Cause I kind of like how they drew her. Although I, I do question also about the hair, but yeah, I think how they drew you was nice. It was a nice thing. And they seem to like it. Good, good. Everyone's happy. Ooh, train! It has big candy on it. Visitors at Flower Sea Terminal, you can now leave Button House. Destination of this train Confetti Factory. Another area? Confetti Factory? Bun Bun, let's take the train and leave here first. Okay, looks like we're boarding a train. And there we go. Bye, flowers. Have a good day. Be safe. Don't get corrupted again. That was nice. That was very nice. And that wasn't a bad, like weird boss fighty type thing either. It felt like it was some sort of form of boss fight thing. Oh. <coughs> hey! It's Woo Woo! And they have their star glasses with ice cream on their head. <laughs> oh. Dear visitor, this train is heading to the most iconic area in Confettia, Confetti Factory. While you relax on the train, we will be briefly informing you about the Confetti Factory. Confetti Factory, a place with not only amusing facilities, but also many important production lines of different... I think it was saying confetti at the end. Bun Bun, you said you fell into confetti out of nowhere, right? I... how should I say it? It's actually not my first time here. I've been here before. Confetti Factory is by far the most colorful area in Confettia. There you can see confetti flying all over the sky, festival balloons, and flags decorating transport- Ah, uh, see, this is what I mean, I, I'm not fast enough to read and look at the same time. But last time, I didn't visit the whole park. I didn't even get through the ticket office or the entrance. I found myself in a very disturbing place the moment I arrived. I experienced some weird things there. It was a totally different experience. It was more like an accident. I even returned to the world above shortly after. But I felt like part of my vision is kept here. I frequently see terrible hallucinations, like I have never left this place. <clears throat> if it's not dealt with somehow, I'm afraid things will only get worse. The colorful paints are not merely just decoration of this park. They are the ingredients and materials of fun toys and delicious food. I kept this to myself until now because, honestly speaking, everyone here looked suspicious. Do you still remember the first time we met and how I ran away from you as fast as I could? That's because you might be tired of hearing this a thousand times already, but you're black and white. The area I've been to last time also didn't have any color. There are different sub-areas in the factory. Every sub-area has, uh, has an assigned theme color. Bah! I got tongue-tied and fucked up! Bah! This whole episode's gonna be me tongue-tying, trying to read this and listen to her! I remember there were signs with the names of the areas on them. The area I've been to seem to be the confetti factory's black area. There is no black area in confetti factory. Well, what happened? Why are there eyes on balloons? What happened? Something happened. Where'd, where'd Demetria go? Hey, moths. The train door is tightly closed. Like any other corner on this train, this door is meticulously cleaned without a single stain. Uh, do I open it like this? Nope. I'm noticing there is an eye inside this thing right here that's peeking and following. It's moving around. I don't like that. 
You seem very interested in this door, don't you? What's so special about this door? Three, two, one. Bun Bun, what are you waiting for? It's your turn. Don't you remember the rules? You only needed to answer the question correctly. What is my color? Uh, huh? You can't answer this question just looking at me? Bun Bun, it's couple is so cautious, so simple. My turn, my turn. What's uh, my color? Uh, bleh. Oh, do you see anything wrong with me? Uh-oh. Don't let them know you know go right. Go right. Go to the corner. Oh god, it's backwards. Oh god. Go left. Go let them know you know. You have found the right path. Go let them know you know. Is anyone speaking to you? There's a stage. Uh, illusion! The nature of confetti. The nature of confetti is. Did I lose? Leading actor. No butterflies were harmed during the performance. What? Uh, does this person exist? Woo woo. What? You didn't look like that. Alias and Zip? So their name's Zip? Oh. Can't draw anymore. Ticket officers. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune? Did, did I? Did I lose? Did I lose? Did I accidentally go to an ending I shouldn't have and I lost? I think I went to a... I think I lost. Congratulations on completing the game. Thank you for playing the first chapter of Illusion Carnival. Future chapters are still in development, so stay tuned. If you encounter any issues or have suggestions, feel free to use the report bugs tab from... Wait, so... That's it? That... Oh, I, I actually did unlock a gallery. That can't be it. Are they of an orphanage? Did you see it? See what? Where confetti and candies are raining down from the sky. It's a giant carnival. I... I didn't see anything. It's right in front of me. But neither of us have ever been to any... I had. You know Ferris wheels? A super, super big wheel goes round and round. And, and people inside run like hamsters. And then, ta-da, chocolate rains down from the sky. Ah, 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 ah. Really? A hundred percent real. Then, what about the merry-go-round? It's a big cotton candy machine. Bumper cars? Uh, skip. Huh? And roller coasters. They shoot up to the sky. Dive on the ground and finally rush out a giant mouth. Whoa! I wish I could <laughs> see that. Ouch! You again, teaching nonsense. No more nonsense from now on. Understand? No, I really saw it. I saw it.
<laughs> Not again. I'm Santa. I don't need more jokes. I'd rather... Are you sure? <laughs> Ready? Did you see it? Well, I did. Kids. With the voice talents of... Oh, well, okay. Well, that name. Special thanks. Thank you. There was like a chapter thing. Okay, before I uh, expect this to be actually the end... Let me see what happens if I try to follow those instructions again, because I might have messed it up. Because I'm going to see what happens. What if I answer those questions before they go away? So the bear is blue, and the second bear is pink. What happens if I answer them correctly? And again, there's this eyeball here, but it's also kind of glitching, I'm noticing. And sometimes the pupil is, like, the whole eye is, like, too bright that I can't see the pupil now. I can see that it's forming an eye. Yeah, and of course I can't go in it. Oh, no. Can't go in. Oh. Hold on. The front of the train is empty. You seem to be interested in the place. Uh, uh, pink? What are you talking about? Did you see anything wrong with me? Okay, let's try and follow this better. So, go right. So, has to go right. Go to the corner. So, I went in there before. What if I go... Wait, is this a corner, though? Are you a corner? Nope, okay, I went the wrong way. Go right. To the corner. Are you the corner? No. Okay, so this is the corner. Okay, so yeah, the, that's just it. So there is chapters into this. I just... Okay. Probably should have read the info of the game. That probably explains there being a chapter. Because when I first gra uh, picked up the game, I didn't see if it was talking about any chapters. So I guess that's it. That's that's the end of Illusion Carnival for now. Until they make the next chapter. Like they say right here. Like, I played the first chapter. So I now have to wait for future ch uh, chapters to be in development. So thank you so much to Kiz for making this actually a very interesting game it's definitely a psychological horror i agree with that because the amount of mind fuckery i had playing through this was actually rather spot on but it was fun i will say it was fun so i guess we will end it off right here and i guess we will wait until illusion carnival reopens its doors to the public so that we can continue in chapter two so with that being said thank you all so much for watching hope you all enjoyed the video if you did leave a like subscribe and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of the content that uploads onto the channel and to help support it and as always we'll see you all in the next video and the continuation of the show take care everyone and bye bye